we got Moon Dance. Uh, this one's hoe friendly. This will be good for shock glances. Maybe not necessarily on the flag. Depends on the amount of spam. Ten seconds. This hill right behind me, the one that I'm looking at right now, that's a really important hill to hold if you're an LD on this map. Because what'll happen most of the time is heavies will ski over, they'll land on this hill, take down that turret, spam the flag, spam any inventory stations that are put up there, which are really common spots, which is what Lord Toaster is trying to do. And then they'll just ski in, assuming they don't like mortar spam the V-pad or something. They'll ski in and then hop right down into the base here, mortar that down, kill it, and then they'll usually camp over here and just spam the entrance. So they're really vulnerable mid-route, and they really like having um, sort of those intermediate stopping points like that hill. And just about every main uh, classic competitive map has a hill like that. And once you get to know them, you start to become a really effective LD, even if you don't necessarily have the skill to kill the hoe every single time. Um, just delaying them back there will do your team a lot of good. So I'm seeing this guy setting up back, and what I want to do is set up low so that I'm fairly well hidden. Um, because again, I'm going for shysty back lances, not genuine setups. Uh, this is where I like to play these anyway, but you're just so vulnerable to spam that this is a terrible place to spend any amount of time. Uh, jumping off s slanted surfaces like this is kind of tricky. It can be unreliable at times, so I generally try to avoid doing that. Classic Techie. Classic Sherman. And Exogen. Yeah, that guy's a danger. This one is looking fairly stacked as well. For that to uh, to be as sloppy as it was, we, uh, we really should have been punished for that harder. So that Shrike is setting up for, yeah, as soon as that Shrike goes down, that's when I want to return. Oh, I don't have a disc jump, but I need one. Ah, I killed him anyway. That's a good switch from Turnip. Um, I probably should have done it. But again, I'm not really playing that hard, so I'm probably not contributing too too much to uh, to the team stack but I'm not sure that one person is going to be enough anyway unless he starts playing pretty pretty hard that was a weird miss but that's pretty common against Techy things you think should hit just don't I don't know that I'm going to get there in time, so I'm going to have to make a snap. And they are open for a chain grab, because that was both of our LD. Here's a bomber. That's probably what Turnip is doing. Thankfully, somebody else got the stop, but this Shrike coming... Don't know. I, I don't know where I'm supposed to aim to hit things right now. He did. If only he knew how lucky it was. I see a warning bar, but I don't see a shrike attached to it. 
Oh, there he is. Yeah, not gonna matter. I'm gonna die here anyway. Hey, good, good kamikaze by that shrike. Daryl is getting some creepy good shots today. Uh, I think I was a little behind on that one, but again, it's really hard to tell with Techie. He kind of warps around a lot, despite his really good shooting. Just missed an entire shrike with a the snipe there. There's a capper or a cloaker behind me too, I think. Again, I don't know where I'm supposed to aim to hit this guy. He wasn't going that fast, but he's uh, he's kind of warping. It's a weird bounce from that grenade too. So yeah, the server is just all over the place right now. Yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> Oof, that's a tough break. That was a good grab. How am I going to make a body block like that and then just miss right afterward? I see a ho coming in. Yeah, that's Homer. He's a bigger threat, and I might be able to get. No, too slow. Maybe if I wasn't talking. So I'm expecting a Techie grab as soon as this flag resets. Okay, so that was like six meters ahead of them, which is wild because I've already got an interpolation setting that pushes that up a little bit. So, yeah, Techie, as usual, has a weird hitbox. That's Exogen out of the game. He's our main threat, really. Ah, that's classic Homer move. That's our gens down. Shrike should be coming in. I didn't actually see where he was coming in. I just wanted to be in the way somehow. There's another Shrike. So uh, another thing about that sensor warning bar is that sensors go through buildings, which means 
you kind of have to be able to find the shrike through the buildings, not just like where it's obvious. That's me tagging that shrike with a taclos. That's probably Techy. Back off. This bomber is going to come in and ruin our shit, and then he's going to come in. That's Mike. Oh no, that was Techy. Okay. That's the route that Mike has been running. I see these contrails. <laughs> Ah, uh, beautiful. I love this game. And I see Shrike sensors. I don't know where the Shrike is. It's probably a leftover one. And that was our only inventory station, so we're going to be hurt here pretty quick. I see contrails behind this hill. You see this hoe is using that hill I was talking about before. And that disc jump was more to get away from that hoe, because I thought he fired another mortar there. Um, you could tell that it was not a very good chasing route. And at this point, yeah, there's like so little chance of me doing anything here. That's probably Homer. And once again, you see a hoe setting up on this hill. That is where those Ho are most vulnerable, because they land on that hill specifically to recuperate, recharge energy, and uh, attack your defenses. So if you can hit them while they're there, you've got an advantage on them. Although it's still stacked against you, don't get me wrong, but... This is me just putting my body on the flag again because I don't know if somebody's coming in or not. So that Shrike is what's pinging my sensors right now. That's not a, not a threat. That looked like it hit to me, but you know, that's what I'm talking about. Weird server. Petio was up here already. I was just jumping over to engage Hoodoo. And I've taken the hill from him, so now he's going to be languishing down there in the lowlands, trying to fight his way back up, which is going to take him even more time. He's probably going to hop back into Shrike, or try to. And yeah, <laughs> unmanned vehicle kills. Super bitch. This Shrike is setting up for a grab on that flag. I don't think... Oh, we don't even have anybody on there. I was going to say, I don't know if we see it or what. And with this Shrike escorting... Well, we've got we've got a wolf pack here. I think we can we can make this work. Oh, never mind. Really needed that snipe.
I don't know how he went through me there, but he did, so cool, I guess. Yeah, see, that was way out ahead of him. That should have missed in front, and instead it hit him dead on. So I don't know if I need to, like, totally reset my IP settings to account for whatever changed on the server or what, but something is weird. Kudu is smart, he's going to pull a missile launcher, yep. But, I got low enough, missiles can't come around in time. I see the Shrike here, going to have to come back, I guess? Nope. So there are two Shrikes. Um, I don't want to overcommit to either one. There's one. That's my Celium. He's going to be in light. Boy, that's a very effective uh, disc jump he has. Gets a lot of speed up. really need more offense. That's why they're able to overwhelm us, is that we don't have enough heavy offense. So what I wanted to do there was, because I saw Daryl shooting discs from behind me, I wanted to push up so that Hoodoo would have to split his attention, but instead Daryl, I guess, had the same or a similar idea, and he pushed up with me, so we were still just one big target for Hoodoo to shoot at instead of being two very uh, distressing separate ones. Yeah, I see. I see Homer back there. I see him. That's Hoodoo again, back on his spot. Is a bad sign when we're spamming grenades into our own base.
The guy yells at me all the time for chain gunning him, and he never, you know, shows any appreciation when I do that to him. Twice in a row. There's a Shrike back here. Hoodoo is going to be right back on this hill in probably five seconds. As soon as that missile tone hit me, I was just going to hug those incoming ho, try to get the missile to hit them as well. Of course it's Hoodoo. That was a very fast missile. Really need that Shrike running down that bomber or something. Shrike coming in back. Yeah, see, I'm having to aim way ahead of that guy. Good, they got heat as well. That'll that'll help balance things. Uh, I needed two or three chain gun bullets earlier to hit, and I might have been able to return that. Lucky I had a teammate there. Trying real hard to uh, body block that mortar back into heat, but I don't think he got it out anyway, so we, uh, we got lucky. That's a pretty good recovery for our team. Um, I figured, you know, they'd be able to take and hold that. That's just one of those weird strike hit but not hits. Is that a mean thing to do? Maybe, but I'm kind of tired of Ho right now, so they are going to get killed with extreme prejudice. He's out. There's really no point chasing this. going to be pretty easy if nobody else intervenes. So notice there that I didn't ski that whole way. I bounced off the ground because I was going too fast for the intercept. Um, and so by letting off the ski button and hitting the ground again, I was able to sort of correct my, my trajectory. That was a good uh, made mine from Homer. I'm happy to see him using that now. Whew. 
it's, uh, it's a lot of chain gunning, but that's what you need to do. That was also supposed to be a chain gun, but I guess I missed my scroll wheel. Super bitches out as much as I hate those words together. I don't bring that missile back to the Envo, because whoever is auto-missiling is not deserving of the 12 points. this map was spammy. Oh yeah, two bombers. That's that's what they're missing. It's explosions on our base. Destroy the enemy vehicle. Destroy the enemy vehicle. Screw that. I say we just need cappers out. It's not like the bomber is going to blow up our base any more than it's been blown up. See, Hudu has abandoned the side hill because we've been so effective in pushing him off of it anyway. He's just not even wasting his time going to it. I sure Hoodoo doesn't think he's going to get any kind of quarter. Normally I wouldn't chain gun the guy, but you don't go ho like that and then expect kindness. <laughs> Easy. I'm not saying he's predictable, but you see that I keep doing that to him. Good grab by Larsok. Hopefully he's home. Nice. Ah. So that's a Shrike coming in. Side route. He might curve around the back. See, and I threw that, made mine, uh, planning for Techie's timing, and instead Mycelium. Oh, this is grindy. So grindy.
Noctedia is doing an amazing job of keeping stuff up and running. Just repairing that plasma turret is such a small thing, but it makes a big difference. Again, I don't know how we got through that whole thing unscathed. Even without the flag, that was weird. Oh, that was too early. Gave myself away. Damn it. It's a good shot by Raven, though. Not sure if you were able to see that, but that was a direct hit with the GL. Sideways explosion and all. I'm gonna get run down by the Shrike. Really hoping he would kill himself there. Yeah, heat's not gonna fuck that up. Team Inferno scores. I love we just need people to bum rush the flag. They're hitting the base so hard, but they're not going for the flag effectively. I don't know how any of those miss. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was Daryl. That was a great shot. Curiously perfect shot from Hoodoo. I'm gonna leave Super Bitch alive because he's too dumb to control K there. And uh, he's going to stay out of position longer if I don't kill him. Should have gone for the return there. It's going to be a kill from Heat. Super bitch was out of position that entire time. <laughs> the I didn't think that would kill me, but again, everything in the server is weird.
See that shrike on the right side? the only chance I have of chasing that down. This is game cap, so we have to get it. Nice. <laughs> that was a blind snipe. Back here. Ice oh, going back. Didn't aim far enough ahead of him. They probably did him a favor by uh, blasting him upward. That I need to pick this up before a shrike grabs it in midfield. It's secure until it isn't. We need our defenders back on the flag and the base together. That's what happens when you only have two decent LD and you split them. Strike coming in is going to make it or break it. Uh, I thought he was coming in on the right side. It's 
it's too late. I already committed to attacking mycelium, so that capper is out. Who's in this one? Is this Techie? I think Mike might get another run in by the time Techie comes comes in though. They may try to coordinate it as well. Yeah, see he's holding off again. This is what they did last time. He waited for the bomber to hit and then he and Techie hit the flag together. We don't have any chance in a standoff. Yep, that was a bit selfish, but I can't afford to sit and hold the flag. I need to be doing Stormcrow things if we're going to have any chance. <laughs> 